frontier, conquest and accommodation, a social history of Cyrodiil by University of Gwellim, Press 2E344. Historians often portray the human settlement of Tamriel as a straightforward process of military expansion of the Nords of Skyrim. In fact, human settlers occupied nearly every corner of Tamriel before Skyrim was even founded. These so-called Nedic peoples include the proto cyrodilians the ancestors of the Bretons, the aboriginals of Hammerfell, and perhaps a now-vanished human population of Morrowind. Strictly speaking, the Nords are simply another of these Nedic peoples, the only one that failed to find a method of peaceful accommodation with the Elves, who already occupied Tamriel. Iskramor was certainly not the first human settler in Tamriel. In fact, by fleeing civil war in Atmora, as the Song of Return states, Iskramor was following a long tradition of migration from Atmora. Tamriel had served as a safety valve for Atmora for centuries before Iskramor's arrival. Malcontents, dissidents, rebels, landless younger sons, all made the difficult crossing from Atmora to the New World of Tamriel. New archaeological excavations date the earliest human settlements in Hammerfell, High Rock and Cyrodiil at ME 800 to 1000, centuries earlier than Iskramor. Even assuming that the 12 Nord kings prior to Harald were actual historical figures, the Nedic peoples were a minority in a land of elves and had no choice but to live peacefully with the elder race. In High Rock, Hammerfell, Cyrodiil and possibly Morrowind, they did just that. And the Nedic peoples flourished and expanded over the last centuries of the mythic era. Only in Skyrim did this accommodation break down, an event recorded in the Song of Return. Perhaps being close to reinforcements from Atmora, the Proto-Nords did not feel it necessary to submit to the authority of the Skyrim Elves. Indeed, the early Nord chronicles note that under King Harald, the first historical Nord ruler, 1E133-221, the Atmoran mercenaries returned to their homeland, following the consolidation of Skyrim as a centralised kingdom. Whatever the case, the pattern was set. In Skyrim, expansion would precede military, with human settlement following in Frontier of Conquest, and the line between human territory and elven territory was relatively clear. But beyond this zone of conflict, the other Nedic peoples continued to merge with their elven neighbours. When the Nord armies of the First Empire finally entered High Rock and Cyrodiil, they found Bretons and proto cyrodiils already living there among the Elves. Indeed, the Nords found it difficult to distinguish between Elf and Breton. The two races had already intermingled to such a degree. The arrival of the Nord armies upset the balance of power between the Nedic peoples and the Elves. Although the Nords' expansion into High Rock and Cyrodiil was relatively brief, less than two centuries, the result was decisive. From then on, power in those regions shifted from the elves to the humans. Thank you for listening. I hope you enjoyed this delve into the books in Elder Scrolls Online that you might just run past. This has been another episode of Lonely Law Love, and I know it's been a while since the last one, but I have a very good reason to keep up with them again now. For those that don't know, I'm taking part in Limit Break, which is a mentoring program aimed at underrepresented people and minorities. I'm lucky enough to have a mentor in voice acting and I can't wait to expand on my voice acting skills and explore this journey with you. I will talk more about my voice acting mentor when the time comes. I may have already announced it. Check the description for links. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and don't forget, patrons, aka the School of Tea Sorcery, and Ko-Fi members in the Circle of Tea Chrissy, get access to these videos before anyone else. So if you want to get access to them firsthand, that's where you want to go. Thank you to everyone who's already supporting me over there. I really appreciate it. And don't forget, I stream live on Twitch every Monday, Tuesday, Thursday, Friday at 12.30pm BST or GMT. And I post four short videos a week on all the short video platforms that you can find me on. See you next time.
Bye.